Today we will be looking at capacitors. Capacitors are a device used to store electric charge on the grounds of an electric field set up between conducting plates. Measured in farads, usually in micro amounts, capacitors are made in different shapes and sizes as you can see and even different materials. And I'm also positive that some capacitors are polarized shown by the denotation of that negative sign there. When dealing with capacitors in a series configuration, the direct method to calculating the total capacitance is to use this equation. However, there is an alternate equation with a pair of capacitors in a series configuration by this equation. This equation here is ample to use in many situations, such as this one. In this situation with the 4 microfarad and the 12 microfarad capacitors, we find the total capacitance to be 3 microfarads. In a parallel configuration of capacitors, the total capacitance is found via the addition of any number of capacitors of any capacity. Capiche. Thus, we can find the total capacitance of this setup here to be 16 microfarads. When charging a capacitor in a DC circuit, there are some captivating things to look at. Here we have a graph showing the voltage across the capacitor over time, relating to this equation which is extended from the general equation Q equals CV. Note this symbol Tor that is the time constant for the circuit found from the multiplication of the total resistance of the circuit times the total capacitance of the circuit. At time equals zero, it can be said that the, so at the capacitor acts as a short circuit. At the first time constant, the voltage across the capacitor becomes approximately 63% of the sourced voltage. After the four time constants, this goes to about 98% and after 5, the, the circuit can be said to be at steady state. At this time, the capacitor can't resist acting like an open circuit. Note the current, shown as the inverse graph here, can be found using this equation. Oh my god, thank god that's over. Now my head hurts.